Let's hope I don't die miserably. I'm dying miserably. Ah! Yes. That is exactly what I thought would happen. And that is why I quick saved. I didn't think I could make that jump. How does one get to that then? Hmm. Alright, never mind. Not getting to that currently. I may have to stack some boxes a little later. Hi there. Try number two. Success. All right. I'll just drop you right there. Check this hallway. Speaking of stacking boxes, hmm. Any more guards in here? Awfully quiet. I do hear guards, but... Wait a minute, is he coming this way? Oh, why, yes he is. I'll just sneak you right around this corner, and I think you'll be fine. Let's see here. I think you're supposed to freak out and think this is a guard, but it never actually worked on me. over this way. Looking like new. I think, for the most part, I may have cleared out the guards. Ah, here we are. It's getting quite empty up here, though. <coughs> Have any buddies over here? No, no you do not. You are all alone. Poor you. All right. Clear. What's this? Oh, the main office again. Nothing. All right. Now, I need to carefully work my way around here. Because there is this one guy in this office over here. Don't they, though? Let's see. J. Rampone, Vice President. Hi, J. How you doing? I don't know. Who is? Who is indeed? Weekly financial report. TM Blackheart. Rent paid in full. Lucky Salintura. Rent three weeks overdue. Ooh, bad for you, man. DM Gilver. Rent paid in full. Vinick Kilgore. Rent due next week. 
E. B. Bromrich, rent paid by D. M. Gilver last week. Hmm, so they must be affiliated somehow. Sid Capeza, rent paid by mechanists. Lord Porter, rent paid in full. Lady Angelica, rent due next week. Sven Meinel, rent paid in full. Noah Germ, rent paid in full. Awesome. Alright. These bookcases always look suspicious to me. Look like they could be hiding something interesting. But no such luck right now. Office personnel only, eh? Well, I'm part of the personnel, trust me. Mechanist technology. This device is now configured for thee so that the managers of the warehouse mayest easily enter any tenant's area at any time. When thou wishest to open such a locked area, thou must needs enter the four numerals of its address into the keyed device. When thou hast entered the correct number, see that it shalt display on the dials to thy left. This shalt cause the large green bay door of thy desired area to open. Thou mayest only open one door at one time, and if thou open another door, the first shalt close. If thou hast any questions, direct them at once to me. Friend Capeza 0457. All right. Hmm, nice little key here. And a nice little box. Okay, let's see. No, I do not want to do that. N. Rampone, president of the Rampone Dockside Shipping. I was recently contracted by the mechanists to develop special lenses for them. I just received a small shipment of rare and valuable add on a zeo crystal for this purpose for security reasons i would like to request the installation of a metal face into my area within the next week i don't have the funds to replace the crystals if they get stolen and i hear the mechanists can be unforgiving noah germ hmm Sorry, but they probably won't forgive you when I steal whatever it is you're hiding. Our tenant, Lucky Salentura, has not paid his rent in quite a while. No one has seen him for weeks, and I've seen wanted posters in the city streets with his picture on it lately. I've been suspicious of him for quite a while, and I'd bet you his golden dice that he was running a gambling ring out of that space. Golden dice, huh? I'll have to look for those. I don't think he'll be back with the blue coats looking for him. I've put in an eviction notice on his area 0266, and I plan on clearing out the place in a few days to rent it to Gonzalez. I felt bad we had to throw out, or to throw Gonzalez out, to make room for Capeza. So I cut him a deal on space, seeing that it's smaller than his old area. Speaking of Capeza, could you ask him to keep the noise down? J. Rimpone, Vice President. Alright. J. Rimpone, Main Office, T.M. Blackheart Musician, Lucky Slintura Entrepreneur, you have been evicted. Take two days to clear out your things, or they will be removed by the management. Sucks to be you, buddy. TM Gilver, Gilver Exporting Company. Vinick Kilgore, Kilgore Weaponsmithing. Am Bramrich, Accountant. Sid Capeza, Inventor. Lord Porter, fine art for sale. 
Our yearly inspection of your space last week, or was last week, our inspector found that he could not get to the second floor because the elevator button on the first floor was broken. Why didn't you report this problem? Please see me about this matter. I don't like it when a piece of my equipment on my property is not working. We have also been receiving complaints from Ian e. Bramrich. He rents the office space below your second floor office, and he claims to be hearing odd noises late at night. Please look into that. J. Rimpone, Vice President. Odd noises late at night. Strange. Does it mean there's ghosts? Or prostitutes? Hmm. Lady Angelica, the experimental apothecary. Svin Minel, Minel Stakes. Noah Germ, Lens Grinder. I hold thy work in much regard, and thou knowest it was on mine own recommendation that my brotherhood contracted thy work. I trust by now thou hast received a small shipment of Adonazino, or Adonazio, blah, 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 Adonazio, whatever, Crystal, I don't know. I'm just going to pronounce that incorrect forever and more. By, coming, by the coming weekend, I shalt need ten lenses ground from the crystal thou hast received. Each lenses must be shaped, or uh, must span three units in width with a breadth of exactly two units. Grind thou one face concave and one convex. Make haste and then bring me thy work for my approval. Friend Capeza 0457. Awesome. What's that? Tasty little loot bits. I enjoy it. Anything else up here? Mm, no. This post office is sorely lacking in the department of jewels and gems and gold and bits that I would want to pick up. Too bad. Alright, let's see here. Have quite a few different places that we can go into, but they all have these nice little doors on them that I cannot break in through, sadly enough. Oh well. I believe it is time to head back downstairs. I have places to be and things to open. Hold on. Have I... Yes, I have. I couldn't remember if I went over that way or not. But yes, yes I did. That was the way we were just at. Hello, Key. Random Key sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Good enough for me. Alright, what do we have here? 0457. That's Capeza. Okay, so there was a shack over here. Hopefully I can get through with this body in the way. Yep, just fine. 0624. Let's see, where's that key? There it is. 0457. It makes a nice little ding noise when you get it proper. If, um, it is not the actual um, code to any particular building, you will not hear that ding noise whatsoever. Alright. And looks rather empty. This place looks like an inventor's shop. There's probably a valuable gadget or two around here. That's sure an odd looking thing. Aha! The scouting orb! This is an interesting little device. You can actually throw it wherever you would like, and then you can see from that angle, 
which is pretty neat. You might actually see Garrett quite a ways over there, but um, it's great for scouting around corners if you really need it. Such as, for example, perhaps someone's not making very loud footsteps and you might want to see if they're standing there or not. You can see us a little bit closer now, but yeah. It's an interesting little device, and that works through our um, our nice little mechanical eye. A couple of scouting orbs, actually. Not bad. What do we have here? That is the longest water arrow I have ever laid eyes on. Let's see. Oh, we have a door here. Um, there we are. We'll just have that open so that if I ever wish to come back here I can go in and out easily on my own high voltage huh anything good around here besides noise no lots of nothing how disappointing can I um there you go Alright, well, so much for this nice little inventor shop. Nothing specifically on my list of items I want. 0624. Lovely. Does not seem to be anyone in here. And this was the potion shop, if I recall correctly. Actually, now I don't think Capezas had an elevator like that. Uh, Jabril or Gabriel, fifty, and that is my final offer. By the teeth of my ancestors, I nearly think I could journey into that forest and cut my own greenery. Pagan bandits be damned, rather than pay such prices. Lord Signoli. Apparently he does not like the prices for trees. I wouldn't like the prices for trees either, but I have no need of purchasing them. we have ooh, a slow fall potion and anything over here yes an invisibility potion that could certainly come in handy anything up here doesn't look like it Pull lever to open door, emergency use only. Well, as long as it doesn't set off any alarms, I could care less. Anything up here? Nope. Does not seem so. Alright, one of many doors opened. Now then, I should be able to check my map and see this. That's 0928. I believe that's the one I want to go to. little ding to let us know we did it proper so we can move over can I get under this please no no I can't apparently I'm getting under this damn it there we go don't know what was up with that 